Tech been around, and you know, what kind of what kind of responses have you gotten? You know, we've had stuff, and also you know, approve of how it's uh, how it works and how we're approaching it. This sounds fantastic. I, I I'm excited to even know, I didn't even know this thing was out there. You say it's been around, around two three years now, and I'm excited to hear that this is actually something that people can use. Now on the field without having to have a doctor on the field, you know, that's been the big demand that people are saying they want a medical uh, personnel on the sidelines. But now you have something like this that you could take to a doctor later on and say, hey, look, we think he suffered a concussion. That's the, you know, the whole idea behind it is, you know, it, our, our real focus is to, number one, enhance player safety. Number two is to reduce liability and risk for leagues and then, you know, and teams and coaches. And then the third is, you know, providing um, like I said earlier, in, earlier, is a sense of comfort for parents that want to support their children to be active and participate in any team sport. You've talked to youth coaches, and what are, what are they thinking? Is, is this something that they're willing to take the time to use? Uh, cause you've been in the trenches. I've been in the trenches. I've been a youth coach as well. And you, you know how we get on the sidelines in the middle of a game. Um, is, is this something that, that, that is, they're accepting, they're, they're really grasping to and, and really gravitating to using to help protect their players. Yeah. You, know, you, you brought up an excellent, excellent point. And it's, it's um, I would say two years ago, absolutely not. Nobody wanted to even think about it. Um, today, um, with a lot of the legislation going on throughout the country, you know, trying to ban youth football for kids and, you know, the concern that we have because the research has obviously proven that there's some issues, you know, in any contact sport. And um, so I think today it's much more accepted, and I think the coaches are willing to take that extra step to take care of it. You know, one of the one of the things when we developed this product, myself being a coach and also you know administrator in youth football, is you know just what you said. It's a half. Anything that you have to do extra is a hassle, and you don't want to deal with it. And so we wanted to make it as simple and easy as possible, and accessible as possible to be used, you know, for somebody on the sideline to help, you know, look for signs of the concussion. So that, that, that was one of the driving factors of when we developed the product. You know, and, and this, this, again, it's a great way to, to start off this safety initiative that Typha is doing. And it, that kind of leads me to our next guest. You kind of mentioned a little bit of it, the, the 49ers, San Francisco 49ers. Not exactly one of my favorite teams but you know what <laughs> i gotta i gotta be honest i gotta be honest i'm not a 49ers fan but uh, i love nfl players that are giving back to the community giving back to the youth and uh, my next guest who's on here on the line with us as well uh, he was an nfl all pro running back in 1976 and 1978 played with the san francisco 49ers in 74 to 77 then and then with the miami dolphins from 78 to 81 i wish he would have been a cowboy but he is from houston He's from the Houston area with the Cashmere <laughs> High School. Um, one of his uh, biggest accomplishments that he states, when you first uh, came into the league, or actually uh, going into college, you actually were academically ineligible. And then four years later, here you are graduating from the University of Kansas uh, with a bachelor's degree. Our, our guest is Delvin Williams, NFL running back. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine, Kenny. How are you? I'm doing great. So, uh, again, you, you mentioned this, you know, when we, we talked about it in your, in your bio, the, in, that, you know, that first year you were academically ineligible, but yet four years later you graduate with this bachelor's degree and you move on and, and get the, the opportunity of a lifetime playing in the NFL. Um, and now here you are giving back to the youth, giving back to the communities, and, you know, and now you're back in, the, in Texas uh, being from Houston, kind of giving that Texas flow to it. Uh, and tell us what your role is uh, coming in with Hit Check. Well, I, I kidding. First of all, uh, my graduating from Kansas was something that I I, I found out. When I, I was happy I, I was able to do that, but I didn't find out until oh uh, 1996 that I was dyslexic and I had ADHD, and and I fought the fourth grade with all F's, uh, and and it was a real it was really traumatic. So I, I just knew anywhere I went to school, I was going to have to buckle down. I was going to have to do it uh, uh, because of my history with that, and 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 so that was a, a, a great, great accomplishment that I that I'm really proud of having uh, uh, um, uh, to achieve. So, and I, I say that for all kids, parents, that you can attain anything if you if you work at it. So don't let that hold you back. As far as as far as the uh, uh, my grandson and Mike's son played high school football together. 
and I've known Mike for years, and uh, and he talked with me about his check and <clears throat> as he was developing it, and uh, um, and and I thought it was just a, a great idea, but I've always been a little bit reluctant myself, just because of having played, you know, my position with this. Uh, what do I? Would I do it again? Would I not do it again? Back and forth, and. And, 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 and while there, it is a it is a tough game, but there's a lot of great things that comes from it, uh, from playing it. And, and and while I am, you know, I've had my struggles with it afterwards. I just felt it, it you know, my the best thing you can do is try and help kids protect themselves. It, it, you can't stop anyone from playing it. it. It's it's a fun game. It's a great game. It's a dangerous game, but it's it, it's a great teacher as well. And and so I just wanted to make sure you know. That I, if I could, and, and, and Mike uh, uh, brought this opportunity to me to to help a uh, 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 fun getting getting kids uh, uh, the app, and that and I thought it was a great idea <clears throat> when uh, in bringing it to me, and I and just jumped on it because I haven't been from Texas and played in Texas uh, uh, system, which is one of the best system in the country as far as I'm concerned. Uh, uh, I just wanted to give something back. And uh, and this is this was a way for me to do that. What made you choose Typha uh, to be a part of and, and bring Hit Check to Typha to help with their safety initiative that they've they've launched? Well, oh, it's to it's to fund uh, 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 the 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 possibility for all kids to have an app and and, and, and get that taken care of and not have to worry about having will some have it will some not have it. <laughs> Uh, uh, which was uh, uh, I thought was a great thing uh, to make sure that all kids are protected in that way. Even from uh, like medical experts um, involved with the app, uh, it, it would be help you take better care of yourself and be a more aware of, of, of what's going on and, and hopefully help you prevent uh, 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 from having major uh, uh, calamities or mishaps uh, in playing the game. It, it's very valuable. It would have been very valuable. Well, we, we thank you for being a part of this and, and bringing this to us and uh, allowing us to, to use this as a launching pad for our, our safety initiative here at the Texas Youth Football Association. Uh, it's going to reach a lot of kids, and I think it's going to really help the coaches out on the sidelines. Uh, t- now, on the side note here, we, we talked about this, and I, we don't want to divulge too much on this, but I know you're in the middle of a book deal right now, aren't you? Yes, I am, uh, Kenny. Uh, uh, I'm, I, I've written that uh, I have a publisher, uh, Texas A&M Press. Uh, uh, um, um, Tom Lemons, a publisher there, very great, good guy, but very patient with me. And uh, we have a, 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 I have an editor, and, 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 and so that what what we're trying to do, uh, what I'm trying to do with the book is to tell the story of what getting to the game is about and when it's over. There's a lot of books that have been written about uh, uh, the ascension of a player and reaching his, his, his dream, but nothing has been written about what happens when it's over. Uh, uh, what, 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 what path a lot of guys' lives go down, you know, and, and, and the type of support that's needed that's not there. And so I just wanted to tell my story uh, uh, about it and uh, um uh, uh, to share that with, with with future athletes and parents and those that are uh, uh, administering football, you know, to be very aware of, of of what an athlete goes through, not just the his physical greatness, but you know, uh, uh, athletic ability, but mentally, uh, I mean, their ability to make adjustments and do things uh, and not leave them on their own. You know, every as I look at my whole path through football, every uh, um, 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 thing that I've been confronted with, very it would have been very helpful because anything that you could have, any instrument you could have, it's it. free. Uh, you know, take doctor's tests on it and actually take a test as an individual. With the league, um, what you guys are, what they're currently using, is um, they have what they call the league pack, and um, all the teams will have access to it, and all the parents um, will have a login to join. And then the um, individual athletes, the youth athletes, will then be able to um, take the test either at home or take it on the field with their coaches or however, you know, there's options on how you can do that. So um, but the idea is to have it all done prior to the season before their first practice, and they're all baselined and everything's ready to go. So if anything happens at practice, you know, for the first couple months that they're out there practicing, they can go ahead and take a uh, post-test 
and see how they're doing. When when is the plan to get this launched uh, for the league? Uh, so yeah, so Brian, um, we had talked last week, and uh, we've sent them everything. For he's doing his own testing and demos with um, one of his teams right now, and I think he's going to have it uh, in the next couple weeks. It should be ready to go. But the idea is because I know there's some spring ball going on right now, and uh, the idea is to have it, you know, for uh, prepared for the fall 2018 season, and you know, the following spring. So 2018 fall season here in Typha, we will have hit check in place. Uh, ready to go and hopefully have every player that is signed up to play in Taifa baseline and ready to go to uh, to monitor any possible concussive activity. I, I am excited. I, I think this is going to be a fantastic tool uh, for the league and, and for just youth football in general. Uh, Mike Pia, thank you so much for joining us and, and letting everybody know about this information. Uh, uh, if anybody wants to further information that's listening, uh, how, is there a way they can get a hold of you and ask any questions? Yeah, they can go directly to our website at just hitcheck.com, or they can contact uh, me directly if they wanted to. At, uh, it's just Mike, M-I-K-E, at hitcheck.com. And, um, you know, I also wanted to um, acknowledge Brian and the entire board, the type for your their approach on um, safety for the youth. So you can uh, go ahead and download the app and um, this game. Uh, Delvin Williams, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, a great career that you had in the NFL, and, and now what you're doing for the youth, you know, giving back now is, is a, a testament to your character. Thank you so much for what you're doing, and good luck on this book coming out. I'm looking forward to it. I'll be looking for it. Okay, thank you very much. It's a, a pleasure. Uh, uh, anytime, uh, um, if, if you want to talk, just let me know. The book, I don't know. We're working on it right now. We just don't know when, and I, I don't want to give anything away on it, but uh, uh, I appreciate you having us on. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Keep it here. We'll be right back here on Typher Radio. You're listening to The Zone. Uh, just as much as anybody else, we want to make sure it's protected and we, the kids are still able to play uh, this great sport of ours. Don't believe me, just... Hey, 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 oh! Stop. Wait a minute. Before we leave, let me tell y'all a little something. Funk you up, uptown funk you up, up to fly. Don't believe me, just fly. 